everyone and welcome to a shop with me vlog and haul from the UK's biggest B&M store. I live round the corner from the biggest one and I have not filmed a video here which I thought was quite a crime. So as I needed some home bits and I have a little shopping list I thought I'd bring you along today. It's actually a Sunday morning, it's fairly quiet as I've come for opening but this B&M has got a garden centre, it's absolutely huge and it's based just outside of Bournemouth at a place called Castle Point. It's actually called Mallard Road Retail Park. So there's a Curry's, an Aldi, a Benson for Beds. Like there's loads of like random stores around this area. But opposite, there's a shopping center called Castle Point. So this area outside of Bournemouth is great for locals because we kind of have a bit of everything everywhere. But this B&M is so good. There are so many things in there and I love having a browse. So I'm gonna take you along today. If you're new, hi, my name's Brogan. I make home lifestyle and travel vlogs. So make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and yeah let's go see what the biggest B&M looks like. Okay let's just take a moment before they open to show you the actual outside of the building so this is the first half and then obviously that's the entrance and it goes all the way down there so I don't know if you can actually appreciate the scale but it is big and yeah they don't open till 10 so I'm just killing a little bit of time but oh I'm so excited we're gonna need a trolley oh no one pound coins guys Oh no, major rookie error, I do not have a pound coin. Right, let's go on in. I'm gonna get a basket. You know I'm gonna need a basket. Okay, so obviously the first things are all your normal cleaning bits and bobs. But here is the first aisle. And as you can see, it has an upstairs, which is pretty exciting. Oh, I don't think I've seen Simple do these face masks before. Kind to skin, even sensitive ones. £2.50 is that? do need some decaf tea and coffee. I think I'll get this one, PG Tips. And then I need coffee as well. They're just Yorkshire tea, do they do a decaf? Oh, they do. No surprise that they have like versions of Barbie. They're not quite Barbie, but they're like copies, you know, all around the top. Oh my gosh, look at those little princess shoes. <gasps> I would have absolutely loved those as a kid. Okay, I want decaf coffee as well. I'm trying to have more decaf at the moment, can you tell? Oh, there you go, decaf. Oh, what is that noise? Oh, they have Costa. Oh, wow, Starbucks white mocha. That sounds really nice. I've also bought my Tasmo pods from here before. I don't know if they have them right now, but this is a really good place to get them. But I need to find some decaf. I always try and buy tuna in here because it's a really good price and I like the one where you don't have to drain it. Oh my goodness, how adorable are these tiny little Nutellas. Look at that. <laughs> I love mini things. Loads of you always say to me, oh my gosh, they have your M&Ms in B&M and they don't. It's salted caramel and brownie but they're not the same as the American ones. So yes, I don't buy these but those sound quite nice. The chocolate popcorn poppets. And I've just found these Twirl Bites caramel version. Hello, that sounds incredible. Have any of you ever heard of these? They're made by Cadbury's, but what is that? Mandolin, what? <laughs> Don't know, never heard of it. I think they're just in um, supermarkets, but I'm looking for the white chocolate digestives as well. Don't seem to be here, but we'll keep hunting but they also have barbecue flavor quavers, which sound good. They've got loads of things. Oh, I love these birthday cake Maryland cookies as well. I've worked with Skinny Bars before and they have some really great bars, but I didn't know that they had all these different cereals. I know they've had cereals before, but I've never seen any of these ones. Oh, they even have granola. I wonder what that's like. Oh, and they have another one up there, chocolate granola. Let me know if you've tried these, what they like. So the fridge section is still, we're still in the first aisle. This fridge section is not massive, but you know, you still got a lot of stuff, but I don't typically buy anything in the fridge section. And then it's all cereal. And then around this corner, this left-hand side is still all snacks and sweets and chocolate and biscuits. So they pretty much have everything you could think of. I absolutely love it. So we're just going to see if we can find anything else that I've not seen before. Excuse me. Biscoff chocolate with Biscoff cream. My mum really loves Pez, but I find it hard to find them just sold on their own without the machine. But they have some really cute ones. I can't believe Pez is still going. Another thing I've never seen before. Lion coconut. Oh, wow. 
I love the white chocolate ones anyway, but I feel like that could be very nice. What is a perky nana? Another Capri bar. Banana flavored chew bar covered with delicious milk chocolate. What? I kind of feel like we might have to try that. I've only ever seen the original ones of these. Never seen white chocolate before. Limited edition. They sound so good. They actually have Tony's chocolate down there for 2 dollars It's a pretty good price. Tony's is quite expensive chocolate, but it's very good. Okay, I think we're moving on from chocolate because look, it's just getting silly, isn't it? There's so much and there's all these crisps too. Like, where do I even start? <laughs> Pepperoni pizza Doritos, $1.99. <gasps> Oh my gosh, they're made in partnership with Burger King, are they? Free Whopper meal when you buy a meal at Burger King. Oh, oh wow, Chubba Chubbs, the lollipop people, have popcorn. <sighs> okay, this is the back corner. This is all alcohol around here. I'm so devastated that I didn't have a pound coin because this is so heavy already. Ask and you shall receive because I just said to a, a staff member, is there any chance you have any spare trolleys? I don't have a pound coin and I want to buy a lot of things today. And she was like, of course I'll go and get you one. So now I have a trolley. Yes! I have a trolley. All is good. Now we can return to where we are. I'm getting a bit distracted here because there's so much stuff. Benji and I are obsessed with Pepsi Max and they have a two litre bottle for £1.45. was one seventy five. I've got four bottles. We absolutely love it. So that's a good buy. Bonnie does not need any more toys but she has had many from here before that my mum has bought her. She loved this little one. With the little plastic feet that was cute that's quite fun isn't it a flying disc i feel like bonnie might like that in the park we've also bought benji's mum's dogs one of these before and they are really fun because the dogs can like hold them in their mouth they love balls it's a really good dog toy bonnie doesn't really carry or love balls like that but benji would absolutely love that for her <laughs> this is so handy if you have a dog it's a travel mat and it folds up it's 15 pound i already have a little travel one that we use from zara actually of all places but that's really cool little handles obviously this big back row has loads of plastic boxes but i'm going to carry on down the home aisle getting all the cleaning stuff next this is honestly like a really great day out for me anyone else <laughs> so this is what the main area looks like and i think i'm gonna go upstairs because I don't want to keep going down all the big aisles and miss anything. You know what? I don't think I've actually even been upstairs before. I always grab my stuff and go, but we're filling the trolley today. <laughs> when you see it from up here, <laughs> look how big it is. I don't think you can fully appreciate it, but honestly, it's huge. So up here is where they have loads of the home stuff. So we've got bathrooms and bedrooms around the other side, homey bits. So it's just basically everything you'd find in your normal B&M, but there's just a lot more and it takes up more space. This is so random, but I have one of these and it's absolutely changed my bath experience. <laughs> it's so nice to have a little cushion behind your head in the bath. I use it literally every time I have a bath. It's one of the best buys. <laughs> I really like these frames where you can fit loads of pictures in them because I always have so many pictures that I want on display. Isn't that nice? But then that would be a really awkward picture to try and put in there. Up here is mostly a lot of furniture, stools, tables. They have TV cabinets and bar stools for your kitchen. Like they have literally everything. I have heard so many good things about this. It's a heated closed area. So yeah, you obviously plug it in and you can dry your clothes that way. I feel like Benji would love that in the winter, but right now our clothes dry pretty fast, obviously on a normal dryer. So I'm not gonna get it today, but I'm gonna show Benj 50 quid. It is quite bulky though, isn't it? The way it like comes out, takes up quite a lot of space, but I don't know, I feel like that could be good. I guess you'd have to work out the maths on is the tumble dryer more expensive or cheaper to run versus the electricity to have one of those on. Oh, they have some of the furniture on display, which is quite nice. You can actually see it just in case you were interested. And just while I'm over this side, that's where the garden center is. And they have loads of garden stuff in here too, but you can really see an overview of how big this one is. <laughs> it's crazy. And we're finished up here now. Don't think I need or want anything. So let's take my trolley and go back downstairs. Joe Malone dupe. 
peony blush I mean they have loads but this one smells pretty nice actually don't know how well it burns but it does smell good they still sell these get naked bath mats they must still be popular they're quite fun aren't they oh I didn't know they sold these though pop socks I call them pop socks anyone else call these pop socks I think I took that from school I don't think I've ever seen them written as pop socks anyway they sell these oh they also have gym ones they have proper Barbie now Barbie brand how cool is that Barbie gymnast love it oh my gosh Barbie extra that's fun oh my god that's so so fun I personally think B&M is the best place to get these sort of plastic containers for the fridge they have an over the sink drain basket which I've not seen before and they also have one of these sort of acrylic turntables which are really good inside cupboards when you can't get to the back just spin it around and everything is just so beautifully laid out like this is such a clean and organized B&M so all the team that work here make it look really pretty like there's nothing on the sides or anything like that you know it's just a really enjoyable shopping experience oh no i've discovered the mugs and there's one that says i can't be trusted at b&m which yeah i mean that's a bit of me but also i love they have a cat and dog version of this look at this isn't that so sweet and just in case you're a cat person the cat version is also really nice okay some bigger items they have a jewel air fryer and they also have a Tasmo Joy. I've got a Tasmo and I'll be honest, I'm kind of ready for a new coffee machine and I don't know if I'm going to stay with Tasmo. Let me know which coffee machines you have. It's just me that has coffee. So, and obviously it does hot chocolate and other things. I've, I've had chai tea in it and stuff, but yeah, they have a Tasmo Joy and it is how much? 39 pounds oh wow they actually have loads of coffee machines in here they have another tasma at the top mine is very similar to that one it's not quite the same it's similar this is, might be the more modern version of mine but they have a few different brands how nice is this and they have it all on display my other one doesn't do that they even have like proper hoover brand vax so if you needed something like this this could be a good place to come oh wow multi egg cooker sandwich maker omelette maker three tier steamer what is that oh my gosh there's so much they even have a george foreman in here for 17 pounds and they have a bigger one for 29 pounds let me show you i don't really use our george foreman much but it's so good for toasties i need to get it back out it's one of those things that you put away and forget you have but yeah they have some really good prices on them they make good gifts as well for like a dad's birthday or father's day or mother's day or whatever it's really good good gift more storage but this stuff is just what dreams are made of when it comes to organizing beauty stuff look at it there's so much i really like these little things this little plastic pot is double-sided if you had like crafts and things beads and yeah like you can see sewing on there that is so good all right we're going over to the other side i'm going to show you the garden center but i've just seen the egg chair and i still really want one of these can't sit on it just for display but i really really want one why do i feel the need for an egg chair when i have a gorgeous corner sofa set up and i have chairs i can put out there yeah i just want to bob in a little egg chair you know with a reading book <laughs> i don't need anything out here but i just thought i'd show you anyway oh it's actually pretty big okay well this is just mad i didn't realize they had this much stuff they even have a shed for 250 quid that's a pretty good price isn't it what's 370 oh my god look how much there is wheelbarrows artificial grass wow i'm very impressed they have these nice planters they're all different sizes and they're actually really nice they have a really good back to school section with everything you could need or want including pencil cases and lunch boxes notebooks and stationery and I am really enjoying looking through here because, I don't know, it gets that time of year, every year, September, and I always want to, like, get cute highlighters and new pens and why? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just ingrained in me from school times, but oh, why is that so cute? <laughs> oh, no. More Barbie stuff. Actually, this is Tiffany's World. Oh, Barbie's up there. Barbie with a little dog. A little scoop for the poo. This is the one that's in the film where you put the poo in its mouth, right? And it comes out that way. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I'm not going to show you all the toys, but there is a hell of a lot of toys. Something I am looking for is diamond 
art. Is this it? No, I don't want LED light up. I just want like the ones where you do the dots, you know? Here is my finished trolley and I am going to pay and I'll show you everything when I get home. Well, I was in there for just over an hour and a half. <laughs> That might be my longest B&M mooch, you know, that was, that was a lot, it was huge in there, so I had to look at everything, and I had a big list, so I ended up spending £124.62 is exactly how much I spent, so yes, it does all add up, anyway, we're going to go home and take it all out and put it all away and I'll show you. Big haul for you, so I bought, as you would know, Four bottles of Pepsi Max at £1.45, which is definitely one of the best prices I've seen. Robinson's Fruit and Barley Summer Fruit is our favourite dilute juice. And if you're in the US, I don't think you get this sort of stuff there. It's four parts water and one part Robinson's juice. And it is just amazing. So when we go on our big world cruise next year, Benji and I were actually thinking of having some of this. <laughs> in the cabin with us because it's so good. Bonio biscuits for Bonnie, absolutely loves them. We give her one of these a day. Aerial pods, washing pods. I just got the platinum ones, longer lasting with a touch of Lenore Unstoppables fresh. They were £8.49 for 34, which I think is actually a really good price. Toilet roll. I don't know what this says about us, but we love quilted toilet roll and i will pay a premium for the quilted we always get it in the supermarket usually but this was eight pound 49 for what's that 16 rolls which is still expensive for loo roll but i would rather the good quality stuff i also got us our favorite um wow this is lame isn't it our favorite kitchen towels these are the regina blitz household towels and they're just really big and thick and we don't use them that often because you know we wipe stuff up with our cloths and whatnot but obviously there are moments where you need a kitchen roll one of the big things i was in there for was decaf tea and coffee i am not 100 sure if caffeine is upsetting my tummy at the moment and i try changing all the milks and now i have a feeling it could be caffeine so if any of you have a caffeine sensitivity let me know. I am still drinking tea and coffee, um, but I'm going to try myself on decaf just for a few weeks and see how I go. So I bought decaf, so I've got Yorkshire tea and I have the Nescafe Gold, so I've got myself both. So we'll see how I feel. It might not be it, but I'm experimenting. I needed some spreads, so I got the Skinny Food Company chocolate spread. I've had this before. I was going to get Nutella, but I actually like the flavour of this. And we needed some uh, peanut butter, so again, I just picked up the one that was the most plain smooth. We normally buy Whole Earth, this brand, but um, I couldn't see the peanut butter. I have almond butter right now, but I don't this is a bit random but i got some salad cream i haven't had salad cream in years but i went to my mum's house she made me a sandwich and had some salad cream in it and it reminded me how much i like it and then i also picked up the tuna as you know but actually i used to love salad cream and tuna together so maybe i'll do that at some point this week but yeah yum i also got a fry light benji picked me up the sunflower oil one but this is not what i wanted so when i went in there i got the butter version they'll still do the job but I much prefer the butter one. Got a pack of dental sticks for Bonnie. Again, stuff like this is such a good price in B&M. So, got those for her. And I also got myself an Airwick Coastal Breeze. Why do I say it like that? Breeze. <laughs> Car freshener that lasts up to 40 days, apparently. You can hang it in your mirror. So, it looks like that. I normally buy these sort of things in B&M and Home Bargains. The car air fresheners just again because they're cheaper speaking of air fresheners i also got us an Airwick santorini sunrise just because we haven't had one of these in ages and i know we have them lying around but when i saw it i just thought i'm gonna pick that up and we'll have it in the hallway maryland cookies birthday cake minis love them that chocolate bar that i mentioned oh no it's been squished oh wow oh yeah perky nana that's a no from me that tastes really artificial banana. Look at that, it's like very yellow inside. The flavors are not there. I gave it a go. I'm glad I didn't have to buy a whole pack to try it, but no. In nicer chocolate news, I did buy the 12 bites, which I think are gonna be amazing. I'll save these to have them with Benj. And I've got the Cadbury Dream Raspberry Bites. So 
I think these will be really good. Penguin bars, love them. Absolutely love a penguin. We love a penguin and, ki and little mini Kit Kats that we have in our house, we rotate around. So, got those. This is a bit of a guilty pleasure food thing, and I know it's not for everyone, Benji hates them, but I love super noodles. Just for those days where I'm really busy, I mean, Benji cooks a lot of our meals for us and makes me lovely chicken wraps and things, but when I'm ever on my own, like a day like today, I will have super noodles and I love them, the chicken ones. So I haven't had those for a while, so I thought I'd stock those up. Very Platinum Plus all-in-one dishwasher tablets. Very boring, but needed those. I got some Lenore steamer and ironing water to put in our iron and my actual steamer. I normally just put water in, but um, this basically prevents lime scale build up and it has the spring awakening scent so i thought that'd be quite nice to pop in the iron i got some non-slip hangers i am a velvet hanger kind of gal and i've been on the hunt for the perfect hangers to take on the cruise with us now they can get you extra hangers if you ask on our big cruise we've had the metal sort of thin ones before um but i bought some from primark and then i saw these and i thought oh, they could be really good they were three pound fifty for six but they're basically plastic light hangers with like rubber bits there so now i'm thinking these might be better to take so i put, bought them anyway just to see how we get on um speaking of the cruise we're going on a world cruise next year in case you're new around here it's for 60 days so i've been planning and buying things as i get along as I get along, as I go along. Um, but this is the Dr. Beckman Magic Leaves and we're gonna be using these to wash our clothes because they're much easier to travel with than pods because they could potentially break. So these are great, we used them on our last cruise and they were good. I also got color catchers, absolutely love these. I've been using these ever since I lived in my flat and I accidentally dyed all my white clothes pink once, which was, I actually think I might have vlogged that, but either way, I've never ever wash my clothes without color catchers now so always buy these toothbrush heads replacement so i actually bought replacement heads from asda they were the asda owned brand and benji said to me the other day he was like i don't like the new brush heads they're just not feeling the same as the proper oral b ones so i was like fair enough i saw these in b m so i thought that was probably the best place to buy them because these could be expensive they're like 15 pounds they were 7 pound 49 in b m for three which is still expensive obviously it's cheaper than buying a whole new brush but I will say, we do actually need new electric toothbrushes, but I think I'm gonna try and buy them in the Black Friday sale, because that's the kind of thing that goes on a good deal. But we love our Oral-B brushes, so there we go. I bought this Aroma Vanilla Flavor Coffee Syrup. I thought this could just be quite nice for making at-home iced coffees especially with my decaf now. Can you see it? There we go. This is meant to be a spoon rest, but I'm actually gonna use it for our tea bags because this is my current tea bag holder. You know when you take out the mug and then put it to the side while you wait for it to cool down? And that has gone through the dishwasher and been scrubbed. And as you can see, it's like completely stained. And this was only like two pounds and it's got a tiny little bee in there. Needed a new water bowl for Bonnie. This is a stainless steel gray bowl. And I just thought that this was quite nice. It's silver on the outside, obviously, but then it's got like a little paw print inside and it was only four pound. This is something that I stock up on about once a year in either B&M or Home Bargains. And that is cards because I love a card, but there's always somebody that has a birthday or I want to send a happy birthday or put a voucher in it for them or whatever. Cards can be really expensive at supermarkets, as we know. They're like two, three, sometimes four pounds and up. So I just got a bunch of cards. So I thought I'd show you them. This one was 59p and it's got a woman with a blue dress. This one I bought before, it says special birthday wishes. It was only 99p. A birthday wish, a generic happy birthday one, which was only 29p. Always get some for the men in our lives, uncles, granddads, you know, another generic one with a house on it. This one was also 59p, happy birthday with a little teapot on it. It's actually Benji's auntie's birthday coming up, so I thought that could be good for her. Our friends are having a baby girl beginning of next year, and I'm starting to put together gifts for them so when i saw there was a baby girl card i got that as well i think this one was 99p and then i also picked up a you're engaged just because we're in that season of life right now and those of our friends are getting married and engaged so i thought that'd be a really lovely card stocked up have them in my office and then when benji says oh do we have a birthday card for insert person <laughs> I have. Last thing I bought was five pounds and it was a Crystal Creations Dazzle Art, Glitter Art, whatever you want to call it. It has 3,000 crystals and you have to stick the correct colour crystal 
onto the number on the board obviously and i loved the little boxes with all the beads in i just thought that was quite a nice easy accessible craft for me to do maybe this afternoon if i'm up for it i just need you all to know that i have been doing this diamond art for like 15 20 minutes or so maybe longer and it is so therapeutic to pick up the little bead and pop it on the number i probably should find a better place to do it rather than kneeling in my kitchen but that is everything i bought in b&m hopefully you enjoyed coming around the store with me and looking at the uk's biggest store if you want me to do more videos like this then let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear what items you buy from b&m or home bargains or if you want to try any of these things i've shown today and hit subscribe if you haven't already thanks so much for watching see you again very soon bye